Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, or if you're a cross watcher, you know, depending on your guys' situation, the cards could be how you feel versus your partner. It just kind of depends, right, on your guys' situation. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. So what we're going to go over today is your overall message, which is going to be given by a moon message. Um, what's going on with your current situation with love? What's that? What's causing the situation, your hopes, fears, and then ultimately an outcome. So Cancer, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. All right. So how give me a message for Cancer overall message pertaining to love and romance? Are these reverse? No. Nope. Okay. For cancer. Oh, okay, that's way too many. They're like, here, let me give you everything. One message, please. For love. Okay, have faith in your dreams. So it's interesting because Virgo got this. So maybe cancer, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Um, or there's, you know, have Virgo in your in their chart. Or maybe you have Virgo in your chart, okay? All right, what's the current situation for love, for cancer? Okay. Um, it's the Three of Cups. That, that is actually a Cancer Mercury. Cancer and Mercury, I guess, or Mercury and Cancer. Um, so that kind of makes sense to me, okay? Uh, what's causing this situation for cancer? Okay, you guys have a couple. Ooh, so Ace of Wands, clarified by the Two of Cups, possibly dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or not, I mean, Cancer, um, Pisces, or I always think this is Gemini because it's two, okay? Um, what are Cancer's hopes or fears with uh, this situation romantically? Mm, King of Pentacles, okay. Hopefully, like, somebody's going to boss up, right? Um... All right, what is the ultimate outcome card here for Cancer with Love? Ooh, this could be the one. God damn it, Cancer, finally, yes. Okay, side note, like I'm mostly Cancer. A lot of people don't know that, but I am. Uh, bottom of the deck, you guys have Honeymoon. Top of the deck, you have this can be the one. Obviously, there's some type of good energy coming on, and it's weird because... Um, I feel very, very good right now. Like, very good about your reading. It's like, it, it's a lot of energy. It's high energy, but it's also, you know, energy that's that's very good and healthy, I feel like. Okay, so in the past, I feel like you guys have been struggling a little bit, either when it comes to finances or like the fact that there's some type of waiting period here. I'm saying that because, all right, you have the Four of Pentacles, which is definitely Cancer energy, Seven of Pentacles, which is uh, Taurus, okay? So it's like being stuck in a situation that you thought was going to have some type of growth, but it didn't, and having to let this go. That's what I get strongly for you, Cancer, or there's some type of, you know, whether it's a relationship you let go of, or it is, you know, uh, an argument that was had that you had to release, um, and realizing like, you know, putting any more time and energy into something that, you know, just definitely didn't have the ability to produce like anything good. You just need to be let go. Okay. So, but that's something that, you know, definitely was a block. I feel like for you guys. <clears throat> All right. So, oh, let's talk about this. All right. So Virgo also got this. Um, this is have faith in your dreams. This is the waxing crescent moon. I feel like it's really pretty. But the main thing about this is just, hey, like, don't give up on love, okay? The situation or, you know, pertaining to love that you're asking about here or that you've been thinking about, it's still in the process of taking shape, okay? So, so the situation is nowhere near an end, okay? And it's nowhere close to the story between you and this person being done. Whatever is currently happening, it's just one step towards, you know, the bigger picture, I feel like, okay? Um, and everything is going to be okay in the end. And if for whatever reason, Cancer, things are not 100% peachy keen, like all that, is, it, it's gonna be worked out, okay? 
Like that's something, you know, that's important. Also, uh, you know, relationships take work. And I feel like this card is here to remind us, like anything worth having, you have to work for, right? And um, that's what makes it so special. So just make sure that, you know, um, you're really, really keeping a clear mind, thinking about what you want, meditating on what you want, and, you know, putting a question to your higher self so that you receive some type of download of what the next best steps are if you don't know. But this card is definitely here to suggest that, you know, whatever you are going through or whatever you're thinking about romantically, any questions you have, this is here to let you know that there is a positive outcome, outcome coming to the situation. So just keep faith. Faith is important, all right? Uh, focus on exactly what you want. If you can't see it like right now because you're like, this doesn't even make logical sense, just understand that um, it doesn't mean that it's not manifesting in the background, right? That you don't have guides and ancestors that have passed away that are working on this for you, okay? Don't look back. Keep always moving forward and be patient, Cancer, because good things are coming to unfold, okay? Good, good things are unfolding as we speak, all right? So for your guys' current situation, you have the uh, Three of Cups. Also, too, take a look. We have all minor arcana. Why do I like that? Because it's no big, heavy shit that's happening, right? It's not like death, power, judgment, like, oh, shit, things are, you know, going up going up in flames, right? Like, this is a very light, airy type of energy, and I feel like, Cancer, for you, that is so needed right now, all right? Why is the Three of Cups here from the King of Wands? Okay, Cancer, maybe you guys are having some type of uh, connection with a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, there's some type of meetup that happens. Like either you guys are meeting, maybe you guys met from a distance or there's some type of, you know, apart. But I feel like you're actually getting together with this person and, you know, either meeting them for the first time or having some type of reunion. I do feel like for some of you guys, this is a first time thing with the fool. It's definitely a change. Um, it's something that you've been thinking about and wanting, and I feel like this is finally coming, okay? Definitely with the fool card here, it's a new beginning with this king of wands. Whether or not you're in a relationship with them or not, it, it's, it's a brand new beginning happening here, okay? One more time. How does Cancer feel about this? Whoa, that just shot out. Justice. Okay, so you guys feel like it's right. It's very well balanced here. Also, too, justice is all about that seventh house of partnership. So, you know, you may feel like this is your partner that you're supposed to be with, and finally, it's here. It's like, holy shit, the person I wanted is finally here. You know, it's kind of like a surreal moment. Like, is this really happening? How the hell did this happen, right? Possibly dealing with a Libra or somebody that has Libra in their chart, all right? What's causing the situation? Ace of Wands with the Two of Cups. Somebody's clearly going outside of their comfort zone and they're making some type of a commitment here, whether it's a commitment with love, whether it's a commitment to come see you. There's something definitely here with, you know, taking things to the next level, but there is an offer. So it's like, here, you want to you wanna come see me? Okay, here you go. You know, what do you need? Okay, here, I booked my plane ticket. I'll be to you in a second. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll be to you shortly. Or it's, oh, um, you like me? You want to meet up with me? Cool. Okay, meet me here at this time, right? It's taking a level of control here in order to further this Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups. So there's a level of surprise here. There's a level of, you know, love and attention. It, it's very beautiful. Like, take a look at this right now. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon, but there's not a lot of swords. I like that. There's not any pentacles besides the king of, king of pentacles. So there's nothing being stalled here like there was in the past. I'm here for the king of pentacles, okay? Does Cancer feel about this? Come on. How do you feel like the Empress, okay? Uh, Taurus, Libra, or you, right? I feel like... You, you really feel like this relationship that you're in has a lot of potential. There's a lot of growth here. 
And I feel like this person, this King of Wands, treats you exactly how you should be treated, like a fucking empress. I feel like they appreciate you. I feel like they value you. I feel like they put you on a totem, you know, or a, a, a whatever it is, where you're standing high. I also feel like with this King of Wands, he or she is somebody that um, understands your worth. They don't view you as a queen. They know you're better than that shit. They're like, oh no, she is, he or she is very different from the rest. She's the empress, right? And I think that that's very beautiful. This person can also, you know, possibly want kids with you. And maybe that's, that's said here. Like, hey, like I want to have kids. By them acknowledging that, it's like putting you in this empress type of like, you know, uh, mentality or facade. So what do you want? It's the king of pentacles. Why is this here? With the ace of swords. Okay. I feel like this is you wanting this person, this king of wands to vocalize like, hey, I want to lock it down. I want to take things to the next step. High priestess. It's something that you want that you're not saying, which makes sense because it's your hope, hopes and fears. So Taurus, uh, Virgo or Capricorn. Okay. Why, why are you showing me the high priestess with the king of pentacles? Ooh, with the ace of cups. Okay, this is in the nine of swords. Gemini energy, water energy. But I think it's something that you're thinking about. I don't think it's something that you're necessarily expressing to this person because you have two aces here. Actually, you have three aces if you think about it. Um, this is something that you're keeping quiet. But I feel like this person, you see a lot in this person, probably more than what they see in themselves. And you want them to vocalize the fact that, you know, they want you. They're in love with you. You know, it, it, it's the idea that you know about it, but you're not expressing it, right? Right. It's also a level of um, planning. It's like, I feel like things are definitely blooming with you and this person. They're definitely coming to a completely different stage in your guys' relationship. And your plans are being more refined with this person. It's also, you know, you obtaining a lot of gain and also getting what you want, right? A wish being granted. Now, with this being the one, I mean, that speaks for itself, right? You've already met the romantic partner you you uh, you seek, okay? Okay, Cancer? So you guys had such a beautiful reading. Um, th if this has given you enough uh, clarity, then, you know, I will see you guys soon. I'll talk to you guys later, and have a good one, Cancer. Bye!